Good afternoon, J. Michael TX reporting here on Monday, June the 20th, 2016, and I want to give you a quick demo on how to use the Safari debugger with a, a JS, JXA script that you have in the script editor. So I already have the um, script here open and compiled. It's ready to run but we don't want to run it yet. Uh, first we want to start up the Safari browser. And in the develop menu you want to come down to your machine name and um, make sure this is checked. Even if you've done this previously I have found each time I go through this process I've got to redo it, so you won't be able to see it up here. It's going to be out of the window, but I've got to click Develop, and then here, and uh, I'm not unchecking. I'm just viewing, and then close the Develop menu. Now, now I'm ready to start debugging, so I'm going to switch back to the script editor, and the way you invoke debugging uh, is to have a debugger command in your script. So after you have had some code. So this is just a real simple example. So now I'm ready to, to run the script and it will open up the debugger, Safari debugger at this point here. Here we go, running. So now my Safari debugger uh, has popped up. It's called the Web Inspector. And um, it has it, you may normally first see it come up with just the script. You have some controls over here that allow you to display additional panels. And if you go all the way to the far right, uh, there's one that you can't see the tooltip, but it says show the details sidebar. You click on that. Okay, so now I can examine my local and global variables and other uh, objects. Um, in the script. For our example here, we want to look at the application uh, object method. So I have an uh, application object, the uh, KM app, and I'm just going to expand it right here. And then you'll see uh, this private thing and then object prototype. If you expand the object prototype, then you get what we're after for this demo, which is a list of all of the available methods for an application class. Uh, there's a lot more to um, debugging, but this is just an example uh, to get you started. So you can just close this window and um, I'll, I'll say this that it can be a little bit confusing. Let me go back over here to my script I'm going to run the script again, and you think, let's see what happens. Okay. The debugger didn't pop up, and, and this will happen after you've run it the first time. I, I have no idea why or how to fix it, but if I go back to Safari, and I look at the develop menu, come down to my uh, machine name, uh, you will see here your script. Uh, so if you click on that, then that will bring up the debug window for your script. So you may have to do that after the first time. Well, I hope this has been uh, useful to you, and please feel free to post any comments um, of how you'd like to see improvements. Have a great day.